Working in Excel often means juggling large workbooks or jumping between related files. But navigating through your sheets, scrolling to the right section, or keeping track of supporting documents can waste time and break your flow. In this video, I'll show you how to use the hyperlink function to create neat anchor text instead of messy URLs, add shortcuts that navigate your workbook internally, open external files instantly, and even build dynamic links with clever formulas. By the end, you'll be flying through your workbooks instead of fighting with them. By the way, you can get the file for this lesson with all the examples from the link in the video description. Okay, we'll start with a common problem, messy URLs in your reports. I've got a sales report here with 120 or so transactions, and each row has a link to a detailed report for that sale in column I. These URLs are cluttering up the entire spreadsheet, so when you send this to your manager or client, it looks unprofessional. Here's what we're going to do. I want these links to just say view report or details, something clean and simple. So in this column here, I'm going to use the hyperlink function to generate the link. The link location is in my report link column, and then the friendly name is my abbreviated anchor text, for example, view report. Close double quotes, close parentheses. It copies down because my data is in an Excel table. Now I don't need to see this column anymore, so I can hide that, and I'm left with a professional report and my users can click the link to get more information. This is just the beginning because Hyperlink can do way more than clean up URLs. Here's another common problem. You've got a workbook with multiple sheets. I'll demonstrate with these four for North, South, East and West. But often you'll have many more sheets than this and you're constantly clicking around and scrolling trying to find the right one. It's slow and when someone else opens the file they can easily get lost. A better way is to build your own table of contents sheet or a summary, a clean dashboard where each region is just one click away. Again, we can use hyperlink to build the links dynamically. The link location, well, when you're linking to other sheets within a file, you need to reference the file name first inside square brackets. And I'm going to construct this link using a combination of text and formulas. So the first part is text, which is the file name enclosed in square brackets. And we can see it's hyperlink underscore function underscore video dot xlsx, close square brackets, close double quotes, and then we're going to concatenate that with the sheet name, which is in this cell here, followed by some more text, which is an exclamation mark, and then the cell reference. We're just going to take them to cell A1 on the north sheet, close double quotes. So that's my link location. Then for the friendly name, we can again take the sheet name here, and concatenate it to some text that just says the sheet name report. Close double quotes, close hyperlink, press enter, and let's just double click to copy it down. And now we have dynamic links that will take us to each region's report in one click. The only problem is typing out long file names is error prone and laborious. So here's a trick not many people know about, which enables us to shorten it by replacing the file name with the hash sign. The hash sign simply tells Excel it's an internal link and the rest points to the sheet name and cell that you want to land on. Clicking on it, I'm instantly on the North Sheet. Of course, you want to add a link on each region sheet back to the table of contents sheet so that you can navigate back and forth. Another way you can create navigation like this is with navigation buttons. And you can see I've set them up here for my table of contents sheet. All you need to do is insert a shape from the shape drop down, we've got various rectangles. I like this one here with the top corners rounded. Select it and your mouse pointer changes to the cross and simply left click and drag to draw it in. Resize it using the pull handles. I'll enter the sheet name. I'll just replicate this one for north and we can change the alignment of the font so it looks good. And then control K to open the hyperlink dialog box. I want to link to a place in this document and I want to link to the north sheet. I can change the cell reference, but we'll leave it at A1 and click OK. And then when I click on this, it takes me to the North Sheet. So all I need to do is replicate these buttons on each sheet. And you can see that I've changed the color for the button that is the active sheet as another indicator as to what sheet I'm on. So let's Control and left click and then press Delete to get rid of this one. And we'll select each one of these, Control C to copy and then go into my North Sheet and paste them in and then simply copy the formatting. So Control, left click to select it, Format Painter, hold down Control and click on the button you want to format 
Then we want to repeat to copy the grey format from south across, holding control, paste it on summary. So now I can toggle back and forth between my north sheet and summary sheet, and I just need to repeat for my other sheets. So I'll pause while I do that. And now I have an easy way to navigate between my different sheets. And this allows you to go to the File tab, down at the bottom, Options, under Advanced, scroll down, and here I can deselect Show Sheet Tabs, click OK, and this makes it clear to your users which sheets they should be working on, while also allowing you to reduce the chances of them messing up your working sheets and other data your users shouldn't have access to, because all they can do to navigate is use the buttons that you've provided. Of course, if they know the keyboard shortcut, they can hold down Control and Page up and down, so it's also a good idea to hide any sheets you don't want them accessing. Sometimes the data in your workbook is just one piece of the puzzle. You also need quick access to files in your company folders, maybe a PDF invoice, a Word contract, or a master PowerPoint deck. Most people waste time digging through File Explorer or asking colleagues, where'd you save that file again? But with the hyperlink function, you can make those files just one click away, right inside your workbook. Instead of entering a URL in the link location, we can enter a file path. It can be a file on your hard drive, or OneDrive, or even SharePoint. Remember, it needs to go inside double quotes, and then paste it in, comma, and then you can put in the friendly name. For example, this might be Customer Requirements. Close parentheses, and now you've got a clickable link that will automatically open the PDF. No time wasted hunting around for it. And it works for any file types, CSV files, PowerPoint presentations, etc. And it's not just files, you can also open folders. So for example, I can paste in my folder path, and then for the friendly name, I might say open reports folder, close double quotes, close hyperlink. And now with one click, I can open up File Explorer with the specific folder ready to go. These links save you from digging through directories and makes your Excel sheet the central hub for all the related files on your project. Of course, these are all dummy links. They won't open files or folders if you try them. You need to enter links to your own files and folders that you have access to. Searching through hundreds of rows to find one order is painful. Let's make Excel turn the data from the relevant row and jump to it with one click. I've got a drop down list here with all my order IDs, so they're easy to select. Now, if you're not familiar with inserting drop down lists, there's a link in this file that will take you to a tutorial. Now, I want to be able to select an order ID and have the customer product and amount information automatically populated. So, for this, I'm going to use XLOOKUP. I'm looking up the order ID and I want to lock the reference to that cell so I can copy this formula down. Comma, where am I looking it up? In my database, in the order ID column and I want to return the customer name. And if it's not found, I'm going to return the text not found. Close parentheses on XLOOKUP, and then I can double click to copy it down. And then all I need to do is edit this. So instead of customer here, I want the product. And for this one, I want the amount. Now let's just format this as a currency and I'll left align it so it's all in line with the other text above. Now, as I choose a different order ID, you can see the data automatically updates. Perfect. Next, I need to generate the hyperlink to the actual order ID in the database. So we use the hyperlink function, and remember, to reference another sheet, we start with the hash sign. Then in order to find the cell this order ID is on, I'm going to concatenate the cell function. The info type I want is the cell address, comma, and then the reference. Well, we can use XLOOKUP here, to look up the order ID, comma, in the database order ID column, and return the order ID cell. Now what many people don't know is XLOOKUP is actually returning a cell reference here, which is why we can use it in the cell function's reference argument. So I can close parentheses on the cell function, and then for the friendly name, I'm going to say go to, and I'm going to go back to my dynamic hyperlinks, the order ID selected in cell D6. Close parentheses on my hyperlink function. And to be on the safe side, I'm going to go to the front and wrap everything in if error, just in case the order ID isn't found. We'll return the text, order not found. Close double quotes, close if error, press enter. Let's test it out. And you can see it's taken me straight to order ID number 23. Let's go back and try a different one. Click on the link. 
Job done. Perfect. Pretty cool, huh? If you like the idea of turning your workbooks into interactive tools that do the work for you, my Advanced Excel Formulas course takes that concept further. You'll master building formulas that make your files practically run themselves. You can find the link in the description and pin comment. Now let's cover the two most common mistakes to avoid. Mistake number one, broken file paths. The hyperlink function doesn't check if the file actually exists. It'll create the link whether the path is right or wrong. You won't know there's a problem until someone clicks it and gets an error. So double check your file paths and test your links before sending the file to anyone. And mistake number two, sheet names with spaces. If you're linking to a sheet called sales data, you need to wrap that name in single quotes. So it's hash sign, single quote, sales data, single quote, exclamation mark, and then the cell reference. To be on the safe side, you can use single quotes around all sheet names in case you add a space to the sheet name sometime in the future. We've fixed two mistakes that break hyperlink formulas, but there are plenty of others that quietly break your Excel files. In this video, I'll show you the most common traps and how to fix them fast. I'll see you there.